Okay, guys, this this is huge news. I don't know if you have heard, this might be the first time you've actually heard of it, but Brody Kostecki might not be racing in 2023, which we're only a few weeks out from the start of the season. The season starts in less than a month, and Brody Kostecki, the season champion from last year, will not be racing. Um, now, it's not confirmed. The story is just breaking, um, broken by Speed Cafe themselves. But yeah, a Kostecki Erebus split is looming, apparently. Um, now, there's been rumors of discontent between the title winning driver and the title winning team Erebus, led by the CEO Barry Ryan since late last year. These rumors suggested a shock split was on the table when Kostecki considered not seeing out the final year of his contract. Um, Speed Cafe can now reveal that Kostecki has indeed decided to leave the time at the, sorry. Speed Cafe can now reveal Kostecki has indeed decided to leave the team and is likely to be on the sidelines for at least the start of the 2024 season, if not the entire season. Um, it is thought that a replacement has been lined up with Todd Hazelwood, uh, the favourite to take over the number 99 Camaro. Hazelwood has long expected to be named as Erebus co-driver for this year. The fact the deal hasn't been announced is a clue that he could be promoted to a full-time seat. Um, Kostecki and his management were unavailable for comment, more to follow. Now, let's, let's just uncover this bit by bit. First of all, series champion might not be defending the championship, which is... I mean, it's not a great look for supercars. It's not a great look for Erebus. It's not a great look for the whole sport. Um, but it would have been the same look if Shane Van Gisbergen won either way. We wouldn't have had a defending championship if this was the case, you know. Um, obviously, it's a shame as well. Brody Kostecki is a fast driver. He's a good driver. It would be a shame to not have him on the grid for 2024. But uh, it looks like we won't have him. What's he going to do? Well, he does have his NASCAR plans ahead of him. Now, you guys may or may not remember that a few months ago there was an article going around about Brody Kostecki doing multiple rounds in NASCAR in 2024. I believe this was around Bathurst um, after his successful, well, his debut in NASCAR at Indianapolis. Uh, so it's likely that he will be doing that, potentially some other things on the sidelines. Maybe he might get an Xfinity drive. Maybe he might do some trucks racing. Maybe we might still see him in supercars, but nothing is guaranteed by the sounds of it. Uh, the second part of this, discontent between the team Erebus and led by the CEO Barry Ryan. This isn't the first time that a driver has had discontent with the team. Um, you guys may or may not remember Decade Dave that only lasts one year at Erebus. Um, there was a lot of discontent between him and the team. Um, I don't want to make comment. I don't want to make too much comment, so take my word as opinion. But I do believe a lot of the problem does lie within Barry Ryan. He is a very quick to anger guy. If you guys remember the altercation between Will Brown and Mark Winterbottom at uh, Pukekohe the other year, uh, Barry Ryan inserted himself into that for no reason. He was pretty shit with his team across COVID. They'd make a few minor mistakes and he'd just blast them. He's been known to be temperamental, a bit hot headed. Um, so, whatever's gone on between Brody and the team, I would say is between Barry Ryan and Brody. Brody Kostecki more than anything else. This is just my opinion. This is just my view of the situation from an outside perspective. Um, but yeah, Kostecki won't be seeing out the final year of his contract, which is upsetting. He genuinely, I believe he could have won it again. You know, he's doesn't have SVG in the championship anymore. Shane was probably the strongest competitor for that championship. If he didn't get disqualified in the first round, he would have won it. But, um, you know, no Shane. It's already a step easier for every other driver in the series. Um, Brock Feeney and Will Brown at Triple Eight is obviously, you know, that's something to contend with, but uh, it's he's proven that he can do it. He's proven that he can win the championship against the best, so I believe he could. And then obviously Ford this year will like more likely be in it than they were perhaps, you know, last year for the first good three quarters to four fifths of the year. But um. Yeah, another interesting part about this is that Todd Hazelwood is likely to be the replacement. Now, Todd Hazelwood, I believe, shouldn't have been fired from BRT. I think he did a reasonable job. Now, I might be biased. Todd, ha Todd Hazelwood is one of my favorite drivers. I enjoy watching Todd Hazelwood race. Gonna be honest with you, I don't like the way that Craig Lowndes is staring at me right now. He's staring directly into my soul and it feels uncomfortable. But as I was saying, Todd Hazelwood, one of my favorite drivers, he's pretty good uh, given the right machinery. He does do well. Obviously, you know, being in a Ford A last year, not the best car to be in. Uh, a single car team are always going to struggle against every other driver. You know, Tim Slade, I also believe he's a good driver. He can do well in some pretty average machinery, and he has in the past. Uh, 
he did his best. He did all right, um, but he wasn't able to hit heights either. I don't think that was the fault of Todd Hazelwood there. Um, he also did well at Brad Jones Racing, I believe, other than the fact he did get a little bit outshined by Percat, who got the race win. He did well across COVID at the team, and he's been, you know, he's a Super 2 champion. He's pretty consistent. He's the sort of driver you look to in a team and think, yeah, he's going to be there. He's going to be there or thereabouts. Um, he was supposed to be the Erebus co-driver. I wasn't 100% sure of that. I thought he was going to be a co-driver. I wasn't sure whether it was going to be Erebus or I think the other team I was thinking of was Matt Stone Racing, potentially. But um, yeah, no, that's that's pretty big, eh? Uh, another, another little part of this is Erebus have gone from the lineup of Kistecki and Will Brown to the lineup of Jack LeBrock to and Todd Hazelwood. I'm not saying that Jack LeBrock and Todd Hazelwood is a bad lineup at all. I think that's a great lineup. But Will Brown and Brody Kistecki was a very strong lineup. And it's one that the team had had for years and had a lot of experience with. Like these guys, they were in the team in their junior careers. You know, they were growing up around these guys into the supercars field, you know. They've got a lot of experience with the Erebus outfit, so it is going to be quite the change up. But yeah, that's big news. I'll try and keep you guys updated if any other big shock news comes out. But yeah, I thought I should let you all know about that. If you enjoyed, please do be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.